dock and all ships dock. Now I understand what that saying was trying to describe. Still, nothing beats seeing it with your own eyes. Welcome to Li Yue Harbor. I hope you had a smooth journey. Lady Ning Wang instructed me to wait for you here. It's Bai Wen. I assist Lady Ningguang with collecting and organizing intelligence. That's right, Bai Wen! Paima remembers now. The other two are Bai Xie and Bai Xiao. Lady Ningguang? You mean Tian Xuan of the Liyue Qixing? Yep, that's her. But why does Ningguang want to see us? Wait, and how does she even know that we'd be arriving in Liyue Harbor today? Lady Ningguang likes to stay informed. Nothing slips through her intelligence network. She wishes to invite our visitor from Fontaine, Mademoiselle Charlotte, to join her at Eugene Terrace to discuss cooperation. Hmm. What would she want with me? This is the first time I've ever been to Liyue Harbor. Lady Ningguang has known of you for quite some time. A talented and capable journalist with the Steambird who writes insightful, engaging, and, most importantly, factual prose. She rather admires your work. She also understands that in revealing the truth through your exclusive news, you have offended some interested parties that have been pulling strings behind the scenes. And that is why you have been sent on an international reporting trip to cover the Genius Invocation TCG events. Wait, what? That's terrible! Oh, poor Charlotte. No, no, it's just part of the job. I'm already used to it. But I'm surprised to learn that Lady Ningguang knows so much about my situation. Does she know my boss or something? <laughs> Paima wouldn't be surprised. She seems to know everyone and everything. Lady Ningguang also welcomes the two of you to join, if you're interested. Oh, you didn't tell me you were best buddies with Lady Ningguang. Oh, Paima wouldn't go that far. We've just been invited to the Jade Chamber as honored guests a couple times. You know. I... Uh, but anyway, if Ningwa wants to discuss work stuff with Charlotte, it's probably gonna be best if we stay out of the way, right? Maybe we can go ask around about the card snatcher while you have your meeting with Ningguang. Oh, are you sure? Alright, thanks. Then I'll leave you to it. Let's catch up and swap notes later. I'm actually pretty excited to meet Lady Ningguang, so I don't want to keep her waiting. Very well. Please, Mademoiselle Charlotte, follow me. See you two later. Sounds like Charlotte's a top-notch journalist, huh? Paimon's not sure what that exclusive news is all about, but it definitely sounds like a big deal. And if she manages to write up an article about this card snatcher case, we'll be featured in her exclusive news, too! <gasps> it feels like we're about to become famous. Yep. You're right. Okay, why don't we start asking around at the docks? There's always a lot of people coming and going. Maybe someone's seen people trading cards there. Ah, uh, hello. Ask away. If it's fish you want, I've got all the answers. Uh, actually, it's not about fish. We were just wondering, since you're here all day running your stall, have you seen anyone collecting card backs for Genius Invocation TCG? Genius Invocation TCG? Hmm, afraid I don't know anything about that. People come here for black back bass, but not card backs. Really? Sorry to bother you then. We'll try our luck somewhere else. 
Uh, don't you want to buy some fish to take with you? All my fish are super fresh, you know. Hi there. Can we ask you a question? Sure. Go ahead. I'll uh, 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 answer as best I can. Have you noticed anyone here collecting card bags for Genius Invocation TCG recently? Card bags? <laughs> uh, no, I'm afraid not. Sorry. Just before... <coughs> a girl in Inazuma attire walked by and I've... <coughs> been sneezing non-stop since. Well, take care of yourself and get well soon. We'll keep asking around. I'll be alright. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never... <coughs> prevail! Sure, ask away. The ship's already set sail anyway, so I've got all the time in the world. Have you seen anyone around here recently collecting card backs? You know, for that really popular game, Genius Invocation TCG? Collecting card backs? Hmm. I've definitely seen people around here playing the game, but I'm usually preoccupied with thinking about the sea. I've never paid too much attention to it. Oh, I really can't afford to wake up late next time. Well, this got off to a slow start. Let's try somewhere else. Hey, you two. Looking for someone? Huh? Paimon knows that voice. It's Kazuma! Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Captain Beto needed to return to Liyue to take care of some business, so I've been taking the chance to get to walk around town. It's a nice surprise to run into you two here. Looks like you have questions. May I be of any help? Well, long story short... I see. Well, the harbor breeze is as peaceful and pleasant as ever. I don't believe that the card snatcher you're looking for has been through here. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure if that's good news or bad in your eyes. Oh, by the way, it seems there's a competition being held nearby. I stopped to have a look. This genius invocation TCG. It seems to be immensely popular at the moment. Wait, have you never played it before, Kazuha? No, I haven't. I have quietly observed from the side. The captain brought a small box aboard recently that contained a variety of beautifully illustrated cards. She enjoys playing with the crew while enjoying a few drinks. A few too many, perhaps. That's called a casket of tones! It's what you use to carry your cards in, and it helps you find players nearby, too! You should give it a try, Kazuha. The rules are pretty easy to pick up, and then you'll have a fun game to play with your friends! Hmm... Forging friendship through card-based combat does sound quite delightful. Alright then. Show me the ropes, if you please. Paimon can teach you! Paimon's watched the Traveler play a ton of times, so even Paimon's a Master Invocator now! After we teach you the rules, we'll also have to get you a casket of tones! But what about this card snatcher you're looking for? Is not dealing with that more urgent at present? Good point. <laughs> Paimon got so caught up chatting with our old friend that she nearly forgot about our promise to our new friend. Hmm. Now where should we go next? Huh? Hey, look over there! Isn't that the Inazuma courier who Diona was chatting with back in Mondstadt? What's she doing here? Huh. I just noticed the logo at her waist. Isn't that Komania Express? Huh? Do you know that company, Kazuha? Yes, I've heard of it. They provide delivery services in Inazuma. Hmm. Looks like she's having some trouble. Why don't we go and introduce ourselves? <laughs> hmm. Which way is it from here? Hey there! 
You look lost. Need any help? You frightened the life out of me. Huh? Oh, I recognize you. Weren't you at the Catskill and Mondstadt? Yep. Paimon's name is Paimon, and these two are the Traveler and Kairahara Kazuha. It's a strange coincidence running into you again. Hello. Hello. My name's Kirara. I'm a courier for Inazuma's Komania Express. I know Komania Express is widely praised for its punctual and safe delivery services, but I wasn't aware that the company had started operating internationally. Wow, it's rare to meet a fellow Inazuman abroad. Our company just recently began expanding its services overseas, which is great for me because now I basically get paid to travel all around the world. Only downside is I sometimes get a bit lost when it's my first time in a new city. Sometimes, when I'm running late, I even have to change back into my original form and climb over walls to make sure the parcel's on time. Uh, do you happen to know the way to the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I feel like I've been going in circles all day. Yeah, we know the place. We'll show you the way. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Down on the ground, the dice spin around, while high in the sky, the sun shines bright. Hmm, that last line could use some work. Here we are! This is it! Oh! White's the Traveler and Paimon. What brings you here? And I see you've brought some friends, clients, business partners, new associates. <laughs> Maybe leave the introductions to Paimon. This is Kaidahara Kazuha, and this is Kirara. Hello. It is an honor to meet you. Greetings, old friends and new. So, what brings you all to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor this fine day? Wait, don't tell me. Is it our latest promotion? Well, I'm touched that you journeyed all this way. No, no. We were just giving Kirara directions. Hello, ma'am. Are you Director Huta of the Wangshan Funeral Parlor? I'm your Komania Express courier, and we have a delivery for you. I just need to ask you for a signature. Let me see. Ah, uh, yes, I've been expecting this. Delivery services these days make everything so much easier. I used to have to send my consultant running to and fro for this kind of thing. Say, Kirara, how flexible is your company in terms of delivering different types of goods? How about a living person? And what about someone who's more in between alive and dead? <laughs> uh? Uh... Her tails are standing up on end! Yes, that's a no. Well, maybe we can talk about potentially expanding your company's services sometime. C could I trouble you to take a moment and leave a five-star review? Five stars? Well, that's an odd number. Let's make it an even six. No, much too low. Services good deserves at least eight. In fact, nine. One extra for going the extra mile. Oh, five stars will be plenty, really. But your enthusiasm means a lot. All right. I should be on my way now. Thanks again for the directions. No. Uh, not necessarily. Business has been picking up lately, so the company has hired lots of new staff. But I handle all the international deliveries because I'm the quickest. I am a yokai, after all. So chances are that we'll see you on the road again soon. Cool. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Although, uh, hopefully next time it won't be because I'm lost. I heard you reciting a poem just now, Director Who. May I ask from where you drew your inspiration? Oh, do you 
sure looking for poetry as well? Once in a while, I throw words at each other and see what sticks. Uh, yeah, there's no need for self-deprecation. I've seen people from all walks of life. And I can tell just from the way your sleeves flutter in the wind that you are a man of culture. Anyway, I'm preparing for the tournament final that will be held shortly. Anyone feeling poetic? I need ideas. Tournament final? Ooh, you mean the Genius Invocation TCG Tournament? Yeah, that's the one. My next opponent is no small fry. Most of the time he's so unassuming you couldn't pick him out of a crowd. But during this tournament, it's like he sprang up out of the ground like a whopper flower and took the competition completely by surprise. So I have a strong feeling that this will be a tough battle to win. Then shouldn't you be focusing on your strategy? How is writing poetry gonna help? Because skill doesn't thrill, unless you've also got style. What? Let me give you an example you'd be more familiar with. To make a great dish, it takes not just flavor, but presentation, too. Ever heard the saying it takes two flint to light a fire? The same principle applies when you're trying to make an impression. Hmm... That sounds like it makes sense. Or does it? Oh, Paimon can never tell with who tell. Hmm... In duels to the death, some samurai pay each other respects before the fight. Often, the two opponents find they have much in common. See? New guy gets it! What did I say? A man of culture! You flatter me, Director Hu. In my humble opinion, you could try incorporating your competitive aspirations into your lines. Or perhaps some words to intimidate your opponent. Oh, we have an expert among us. Hey, why don't you play a match with me? It'll help me warm up and maybe find some creative inspiration. As much as I'd like to oblige, I'm afraid that I haven't played before. I don't even have my own deck. Perfect! Paima really wants to watch you play. How about Paima gives Kazuha a crash course right now? Since everyone is so willing to offer their help, how can I refuse? a few little tips and tricks she's picked up from watching the Traveler play. Well, think you can handle it from here, Kazuha? I think I've got it. Thank you, Paimon Sensei. S sensei <laughs> Wow! Paimon's never been called that before! Well, Kazuha, ready to go one-on-one -on -one against Liyue's most notorious backstreet poet? Yes. Thank you for the opportunity, Director Hu. Any last words before the duel begins? <sighs> One moment. Okay. I think I've got something. Wow, that was fast. Alright. <laughs> Say your piece, Challenger. Whoa, things are really heating up. Minds like sharp blades clash. Friendship forged through cards and dice. Autumn leaves burn bright. I, Kaidahara Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. <laughs> the birds are chirping, the weather's so nice. Watch me roll six pyro dice. Director Hu of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is ready for battle. My turn. Chi? Ah. I am defeated. It's no wonder that Director Who has earned a spot in the tournament finals. Talk about an exciting match, though! Good thing I was able to send off all those summons of yours. I have to say, it's hard to believe that this was your first time playing. I owe it all to Paimon Sensei's teaching. Huh? You really mean that? Yay! <laughs> hey! Paimon's always been able to float in the air! <sighs> well, Kazuha, did you enjoy 
Bad Genius and Vacation TCG? Yes, indeed. There is a good variety of card abilities, and the tempo of the match can swing in an instant. I understand now why it's become so popular across Tavat. Oh, seems the world's gained yet another TCG player. Kuching! Why did you get here? Shortly after these two had begun their match, everyone seemed so focused on the game that I didn't want to interrupt. You must be Kaede Harakazuha? Your reputation precedes you. It's an honor to finally meet you. Please, the honor is all mine. I have heard great things about the esteemed Yuhang from Captain Beto. Just call me Kuching. You played very well indeed, considering it was your first time. I'm impressed. If we ever have the opportunity, I too would like to play a match with you. Wow, Kazuha's already lined up his next opponent! Why so surprised? Practically everyone at Yujing Terrace is playing Genius Invocation TCG these days. I also play from time to time, when time permits. It would be my pleasure to join you for a match. However, I can't borrow the Traveler's deck forever. Our match might have to wait until after I manage to obtain my own casket of tomes. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. When we get back to the tournament venue, I'll ask a member of the Genius Invocation TCG Society to provide one for you. And please don't think about returning the favor. I assure you, it's no inconvenience. Besides, a friend of the Traveler is a friend of us all. I am grateful for your kindness, Kuching. Pleasure. Also, Hu Tao, the final is about to start. I just came to make sure you're aware. Don't worry. It might look like my mind's on other things, but I'm still listening. Thorough preparation is the key to victory, after all. Will you all be coming with us to the venue? All oh, right. Back to the task at hand. Um, we're investigating a card snatcher. Have any of you seen someone going around collecting genius invocation card backs recently? Card backs? You mean like the kind with the treasure chest design on it? Yes, exactly. That's the one. Funny. The word snatcher didn't come to mind when I saw him. He struck me as more of a potential client. I saw him playing a match against Chang Yun this morning. He said that whoever lost would have to hand over their card back. It was close, but he managed to beat Chang Yun in the end. After the match, he wiped the sweat from his forehead, took the card back from Chang Yun, and left. Sounds like we need to go talk to Chang Yun then. In that case, try Uang Hill. I think that's where he should be. If I may ask. What else is this alleged card snatcher suspected of doing? Um, we don't know too much about him, apart from his obsession with card backs, but apparently he's stolen other players' cards before. <sighs> I see. I'll inform the Millilith to be on the lookout for this individual. But while he's still at large, make sure you stay safe. I think I'll go with the Traveler to Wong Hill. Alright, see you later. With so many people rooting for me, I'm sure the match will be over before I can say, Hew! Alright, let's go find Chang Yun! Hey, don't panic. I'm sure we'll find her. Tanyun, we found you! Paimon! Traveler! And... Hello, I am Kaedahara Kazuha. Hi, I'm Chong Yun, an exorcist from Liyue. Long story short, this boy lost his friend while they were playing hide-and-seek. <laughs> I told little you not to hide anywhere too far away! But I've looked everywhere, and I still can't find her. 
Uh-oh. It could be dangerous to get lost out here in the wilderness. Um, we'll help look for her, too. Did you see which direction she went? Yeah. I kind of peeked a little bit when I was counting. She went that way. Okay, then let's start looking in that direction. Did Little Yu's father also give her a small box to store the cart? Yeah, a casket of tomes. I have one too. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Yes, as long as she still has the box with her, we should be able to determine her location. Quick, get our casket of tomes out! Mm, let's see. There's Chang Yun and Little Fang. Aha! There's another player over there! That must be Little Yu! We've already taken care of the bad guys. But Uwang Hill is full of yin energy. You shouldn't be playing in a place like this. Understand? Uh, yes, sir. We won't do it again. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for rescuing me. Of course. Now, don't go running off. Hang tight for a moment, and I'll walk you both home. <sighs> Hyman's glad she was okay. Me too. Good on Kazuha for coming up with the Casket of Tomes idea. Yeah, how did the rest of us not think of that? Huh, guess we use it so often when we're playing cards that it didn't occur to us to use it for anything else. What a nifty little gadget. The Sumeru scholars who invented it must be super brainy. Oh, uh, by the way, Changyun, we wanted to ask you about something. Oh, I, I knew there was something fishy about his obsession with card backs. I can't believe it. I let a thief slip right through my fingers. Whoa. Deep breaths. Stay calm. It's not your fault. You didn't know what his intentions were. If I'd been in your shoes and he invited me to a duel on the same terms, I doubt I'd have sensed anything untoward either. Exactly. He's crafty. If you're not paying attention, he'll just steal the card he wants. And if that doesn't work, he'll come up with some other way to get his hands on it. Did he happen to say anything after he got the card back? Not a lot. He seemed to be in a hurry. He just packed up his things and then left for the docks. Hmm, but I did hear him grumbling about how far away Inazuma is, and how he wasn't looking forward to the boat journey. This guy sure talks to himself a lot. Hmm. Well, it sounds like a pretty solid lead, so Paimon thinks we should follow it. But first, we should stop by the venue. Then I guess I'll take Little Fong and Little Yu home now. Though I'd really rather help track down that thief. Yeah, you're right. When I get back, I should probably meditate for a while to calm myself down. Hmm. 
Thanks for your concern. Whoa. Is it just Paimon, or did things suddenly get gloomier here after Changyun left? Huh. Come on, let's get out of here. What an incredible match. Truly mesmerizing to watch two players compete at such a high level. What? We missed the final again? Ugh, Paimon was hoping we'd at least get to catch a glimpse of the final round. Ah, you're back. Did you find Chongyun? Everything goes smoothly? There were a few hiccups along the way, but in the end, it all turned out fine. Um, so Hu Tao, did you win your match? Of course. It didn't go quite as phew as I'd expected, but all in all, it was still a good old wham bam I'd like to thank my fam. My opponent was no pushover. We both took out a couple of each other's character cards before it came down to the decisive round. I closed my eyes, held my breath, and clenched the dice tightly in my hand as I prayed for the blessings of all my supporters in the audience. Both visible and invisible, wink wink. Can you guess what happened next? Channeling all my skill and style, with a flick of the wrist, I released the dice from my hands and shouted my battle cry at the top of my lungs. Watch me roll six pyro dice! And lo and behold, when the dice came to rest, I counted precisely six of the pyro persuasion. It was all over before I could say, Pyre, pyre, pants on fire. Wow, sounds like your poem worked like a charm. Director Who's play style is rapid but graceful, like a lone butterfly navigating the depths of a forest. With a little luck beneath her wings, she soared above the competition. Ugh, oh, luck is a key ingredient in every success. Wouldn't you agree, traveler? Oh, it's Ningguang and Shai! Finished with your business meeting? Yep. I have to say, the Tian Shuin has a very incisive mind. She's extremely insightful. I gotta admit, I'm kinda envious of Baiwen now. Oh, wow. You must be Kaidahara Kazuha. It's a pleasure to meet you, Charlotte. First the Traveler, now Kazuha. Feels like I've been inducted into the Tevat Heroes Club. I remember when you made the headlines of the Steambird. Young Samurai blocks the Muso no Hitotachi. You captured the public imagination in Fontaine for some time. My oh my, I had no idea I was up against such a legendary warrior in our card duel earlier. That's all in the past now. I count myself as the fortunate one today for this chance to make so many new friends. Today is indeed a momentous day to have brought us all together. I propose that I treat everyone to a meal to mark the occasion. If it pleases you all. Oh? <laughs> Sounds like it's victory meal time. Count me in. You'll have to excuse me for a moment while I wrap things up at the tournament venue. I'll join you all later. This is great! We can have a nice hearty meal and get a good sleep tonight before heading off to Inazuma tomorrow. Inazuma? Does this mean you found a new lead on the card snatcher? Sure did! Investigating is what we do best! Okay, I guess luck played a part in it, too. I still have some things to take care of here in Liyue, so I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you to Inazuma. Okay, but remember to keep working on your genius invocation skills. You never know when Paimon Sensei will show up for a surprise inspection! I've also heard some things about this card snatcher you're pursuing. Already? Wow. Not 
nothing gets past Ningguang, huh? A new card back appeared on the market recently. It's extremely rare and bears an image of a treasure chest. Some players are willing to pay exorbitant amounts of more for things of this nature, as they believe they can improve their luck. So I looked into them briefly to see whether there was any genuine commercial value in them. I quickly learned that every card back with that particular design had been scooped up overnight. There's not a single one left in all of Liyue. Initially, I thought this might be just another case of a merchant hoarding goods in hopes of maximizing the profits. But once I heard more, I realized it must be the thief you are after. Is there anything else unusual about these card backs other than their rarity? Unfortunately, since I didn't manage to procure one for myself, I'm unable to say for sure. All I know is that despite being custom-made, they are not particularly exquisite. If they were, you can be sure I would have purchased one sooner. Hmm. The mystery of this card snatcher gets more baffling at every turn! It doesn't matter. Given how much he likes to talk to himself, he's sure to spill all his secrets sooner or later. Every journey into the unknown is a mystery waiting to be solved. But often, it is encounters with the unexpected that make the journey all the more interesting. For instance, it was certainly a pleasant surprise for me today to meet top talents from all around Tevat. <laughs> By the way, does Captain Beto play Genius Invocation TCG by any chance? Yes. In fact, she's one of the best in the whole Crux fleet. Would you mind putting in a word for me, Kazuha? I'm a longtime fan of Captain Beto's. I always hoped I'd be friends with her someday, but so far I've never had the chance. Sure. But please be gentle when you inevitably defeat her in Genius Invocation. <laughs> 